Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. From the Studio Rats. Ah, yes. And once again, I've descended upon Mr. Drew's gaff and I've brought toys. Nice toys. In actual fact, toys that were once yours. I, yes. Why, 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 why did I ever let you take that off me? Uh, I don't know, I don't care, it's mine. <laughs> Uh, let's explain. Okay. This, this is one of the things I've brought today. This is a rather lovely Grossman SG Quiet Cab. Uh, SG Box. SG Box. Uh, what is an SG Box? It is basically a speaker which doesn't let any sound out into the outside world. Or very little sound into the yes. outside world. Uh, let's explain. Or actually, let's demonstrate first by the playings of Mr. Paul Drew. Uh, and I will then lift the lid on the SG box and right. demonstrate exactly what this thing's doing to aid us in our recording experience. Oh, I like it. Mm. I like that. Okay. You play, I'll lift. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and now I've recovered from my hernia, um, I think you get the idea of exactly what this thing's doing. Witchcraft. Voodoo, in fact. Yeah. Um, so we've spent a lot of time recently on the channel talking about load boxes and dummy loads and attenuators and yeah. things like that. And quite frankly, not everybody wants to go on that, that, ro that road route. No, because an attenuator is, is going to affect the sound of your, it's going to colour the sound of your, of your amp. Yeah. Um, this is a real speaker. It's a 1x12 um, Celestian Greenback. In that one, yeah, but they're changeable, yeah. You can put anything you like. It's, a, it's three knobs. Pull out the speaker, put another one in. Yeah. Um, we threatened to change it to a Greenback, but you were. I was concerned that I might get lumbered with it. <laughs> I like <laughs> I, Greenbacks. I like Greenbacks too. Um, it's a great sounding cabinet in its own right. Yeah. But often with these kind of quiet cabs... Um, I've heard them called dark cabs before because if you put a lid there, everything goes dark. Um, hmm. the, the sound inside the cabinet is not great when you put the lid on. In this case, they've done a lot of work and a lot of engineering yeah. and, and the, the weight alone proves there's a lot of work going into this thing. Um, it still sounds absolutely magical. Um, we're going to cut this mic this time and then here okay. just the uh, it's a Sontronics Corona dynamic mic inside mm -hmm. there. It's in a, in an alternative to a 57 and I think it sounds magical. It does sound good, doesn't it? Mm. Okay. Give it some beans. Should we, should we switch on the old... Uh... Beanage. Does your inner rock god feel explored? Oh, I could feel my hair blowing in the wind. Now we're using the, sorry, hair. Um, we're <laughs> using my Synergy um, SA30, I think it's called, the 30 yep. watt Synergy amp. Um, we'll come back to that in a future video. Um, much more to talk about on that line. But we've given it the beans. I mean, it's, it's quite, it's incredibly quiet in the room. It sounds fantastic. Yep. And it means you can use a real valve amp, fairly well cranked, yep. to get all that lovely power amp tone and drive and oomph without, one, offending your own ears, mm -hmm. two, offending your neighbours, and three, uh, becoming single because your wife will leave you because of the screaming guitar that you're playing in the bedroom, garden shed or whatever. Absolutely. <laughs> It sounds knockout. It well, sounds like you've got a big cab mic'd up in a big room, yeah. cranked, because you've got a cab with an amp that's cranked. Shall we? Shall we lift off the lid and explain what's going on? Yes. So, pe so people can see. So, off comes the lid. So we've got a 12 inch speaker in there. They do an attachment so you can put a 10 in there. So if you're a bass player who wants to play through 10s, 
it works perfectly well for bass, which is great. Uh, we've got a 12 inch in there because let's face it, that's what most guitarists yep. tend to play through. Um, we have built in uh, banana clips, plugs, so you can attach any old speaker yep. using the bananas very, very quickly interchangeable, which is great. We also have these three kind of mounting poles, mounting slidey roddy things, mm -hmm. technical term. Uh, for mounting microphones. So on the actual the microphone cables themselves, they're color coded. So you've got a uh, black, white, and silver, or yep. gray if you like, which directly match up to the three XLR outputs on the front. Yep. You've then got an input for your power amp on a locking jack. Nice feature, because the last thing you want to do is pull out that jack. Absolutely. While your amp's switched on. Yep. That would be bad. Yep. <laughs> It's absolutely rock solid. The engineering is, you know, dare I say... German. German, yes, that's a nice way of putting it. Um, it's very, very well built. The unit itself weighs an absolute ton. Yeah. And it's on, I'll put the lid on. This is what I want to really show off. It's gone. Watch this. Are you ready? So it's on these like really nicely designed rubber feet, which uncouple, uncouple is that decouple. a word? Decouple. Decouple, which it's decouple the speaker cabinet from the floor. So you're not getting that bass response. The, the bass response isn't basically vibrating through through your floor and then- Being uh, lost. Ex exactly, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's almost completely decoupled from the floor. Um, is it 100% silent? No. No. Um, we were talking about it, because obviously Paul's got one. I've, and it's not a problem I've ever had because I've been using it in my drum room. Yeah. And obviously the drum room, as was, had a dirty great big triple glazed sliding door. Yeah. And I could shut that door and then all of a sudden my very loud guitar amp was completely silent in my control yeah. room space. I've also used it in the drum room at the same time as playing drums. Mm -hmm. Now because obviously the drums are close mic and inherently quite loud mm -hmm. and the gains on the mic's quite low, I've never had a problem with having the guitar up in the same room as the drums. Right. In this room, just now, you can hear it. There is a a low end kind of tone well, let's, that you hear. Let's demonstrate that. So if we switch off the microphone that's going to the cabinets, you can yep. just hear it through the through our vocal microphone. Yep. You can hear it in the room, yeah. it's fair to say. Yeah. But I think this is by far, and we've had questions about this on the live stream previously, um, about people saying how they can have a real guitar amp head and yeah. a speaker in the same room as they're recording in with their monitors. Absolutely. Um, there's no, it's so quiet, there's no interference between your monitoring and the, yeah. and the box. Absolutely. Um, I think, if you wanted to go the next step, maybe some kind of shielding or shroud around it. Some of those um, Tatrix Gobos I've got, yeah, yeah, you would, would never whoa, hear this. Thing. No, you'd never hear that. Um, this, my one has been in storage, because obviously I'm in temporary digs, my living room. But I actually think I'm gonna put this by the drums at the other end of the room. Yeah. I've got a long enough speaker cable to run to it. Yeah. And I'm gonna start using my amps again. Nice. Because it's so, <sighs> Inoffensive is the wrong word. It doesn't make enough noise to upset your other half, your pets, your children, or your neighbours. I think it's fair to say it's a recording tool, not a practice tool, because the sound of the guitar coming through the outside world is not one that you'd necessarily want to listen to. It's not designed for that. It's a recording tool. Absolutely. That's a fair thing to say. But as a tool, as a recording device, put a microphone inside it, it's the way forward. Yeah, so if you're not into, um, if you don't want to use load boxes, and there's another good point in a minute, actually. Uh, if you don't want really to use load boxes, you don't like the sound that the load boxes impart on your recording, this is, I think, definitely the best way. Yeah, so a, a way to be able to drive your amp properly, get that proper amp tone, yeah. that amp power amp yeah. grunt, without upsetting people in the next town. Yeah, definitely. Can we also say, 
before we do some more playing that I think the price of this that the price of these uh, SG boxes and fat cabs fat boxes whatever they're called now are extremely reasonable when you compare that to a high-end one or two by twelve by well let's just say matchless source a high-end well, well let's just well, let's talk about that so an, a matchless one by twelve is going to cost you 750 pounds right and how much is the new fat box, fat cat box thing? Less, a lot less than that. It's the way forward. I think it's it's a it's a brilliant thing. And if you want to change your speakers, it's Absolutely. the cost of one new twelve inch speaker. Yeah. Um, and you could have a pile of those lined up and go, oh, I fancy a, huh. I fancy a. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's it's say in the recording world, where I know of you know top end guitar recording engineers who have a collection of guitar cabs, you know, an extensive collection of cabs because they want that variation in flavour. Yeah. And obviously a 4x12 or a 2x12 or even a 1x12 cabinet takes up a substantial amount of space. Yeah. A box with a 12-inch speaker in it, not so much. Yeah. Should you do some more playing? Please. <laughs> Give us some beans. Sounds great. It's worth saying at this point, for health and safety reasons, both Paul and I have both paid for these. Uh, we're not being endorsed in any way, shape, or form by Grossman. Uh, we found products that we like, and we like to share that stuff with you. Uh, so, this is the Grossman SG box. The new one is called the Fat Box. Great amount of research goes into these videos, as you can tell. <laughs> um, so check them out on on the webs because uh, we think they're worth checking out and they're really good and we like them. They're excellent. Uh, can I just say that I've ordered the new version of this, mm -hmm. so what we're going to be doing in a later video is compare both of these, but I should never have got rid of that. <laughs> so, really hope you enjoyed that. Please check out Grossman on their website and stuff like that. But for now, my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats, and we will see you again very soon. Nice. Oh,